the dance and you have to dance up When you hear the reggae music and you put your hands up And you smoke the ganja and you put your hands up Everybody them a jump up and I put them hands up Hear them! the video tonight. I'm bring a few of your sister and girls. Call me, baby. Hey, what's up, Zach? Man, why do you keep hustling her? You know she thinks you crazy, right? You see, Ma, this is why you don't have nobody. You stay home all day trying to be the next gaming sensation. Well, I'm out of control what people think about me. That's okay. You just wait until this $50,000 check come rolling in. Okay, Ma. So until that happens, we're still on the DMV tonight. You coming? <sighs> Come on, man. You know I have to watch my brother and sister tonight. Same old thing. Man, you say that every Friday night. It's your family's holy night, man. Right. Come on. Do we have to have this conversation? I swear, y'all be sitting around the table talking to God. <laughs> Don't even go there, man. My parents are going out tonight, man. You don't got to do all that. Okay, man. Look, all I'm saying is, we are grown men. Yeah, we may still live with our parents. In your case, adopted parents. But you gotta let them recognize, man. Right. You don't have a clue, man. Yeah, whatever, man. We'll be at DMBs if you can pop in. All right, man. If I pop in, you know I'm gonna mess you up, right? Or you trash. I'll be sure my Yeah, no, I'm super excited for you. No, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. So, yeah, we're supposed to be at the closing table. Hold on. 8 or 8.30? 8.30 it is. All right. All right, later. Hey, babes. Welcome home. How are you? I just lost a really big case, and I'm tired. I'm sorry, babes. Oh, and I think I'm coming down with something. Oh, okay. Are the kids upstairs? Yeah, matter of fact, Zach got home a little while ago. Hold on. Okay. Hey, everybody, familia time, two minutes. Family time, two minutes. You're probably going to have to send a text to their phones or something. <laughs> no. They heard me. So are we meeting out here on the patio today? Of course. It feels great out here, doesn't it? Look, honey, I've been meaning to talk to you about this family time. You know, we've talked about this, what, several times. I understand, Eric, but I need you to listen to me. Now, you've been a wonderful father to these kids and an excellent husband. When we found out we were not able to have any children, we were able to adopt these children from infancy, and I was okay with that. <sighs> but when you decided to start getting all holy on us and following this Jesus, honey, that really put a strain on our relationship. Eric, I didn't sign up for all this. Look, I hear you, but this by no means was within my plans. But feeling, experiencing God's love for me, well, it opened my eyes. Frankly, it opened my eyes to the truth. The truth? The truth is I am losing my love to something I can't even see. Come on, Wait. babes. Oh, hold up. Let me see those again. Those are fire. Hey, Mom. Mom. 
Well, I thought we had uh, three kids, but it looks like we have four. Hi, Mrs. C. That's attorney, Mrs. C, to you. Girl, get off that phone. Well, hello, mister. Hi. What's with the long face? Zach don't want to do Bible study because he wants to meet with his friends at D&B tonight. I heard him through the wall. You need to mind your business and keep your big ears out of grown people's business. Well, maybe if I had a phone like everybody else in his family, I'd have some business to attend to. <sighs> Zach, there's no need for name calling. Didn't I say get off that phone? Uh, right now, Keish. Girl, I'll call you back in 15 minutes. My parents are going crazy. See ya. Well, I'd like to thank you all and Keisha's guests for attending our family Bible time. So let's pray. Will you look at the time? I need to be getting home. Girl, you're not even wearing a watch. Watch or no watch. I'll just see my way to the door. Oh, so, Brooke, when are you going out those digits? Boy, you need to grow up. And you don't even have a phone. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. C. See, that's why I can't conduct business. Sorry, she's a non-believer. I'll let her out. Okay. Okay, Pop, so I've been conducting your survey. Oh, Nine okay. out of ten girls at our school our age have smartphones. smartphones. Uh-huh. But only seven out of ten boys our age have smartphones. Okay. Okay, Mom, correct me if I'm wrong. That sounds like a discrimination case to me. <laughs> Boy, please. Look. Fact is, if you weren't on your phone past curfew, then you'd be still in possession of this phone. I can't believe this. Yeah, that's right. Tell him, Zach. No, I can't believe you're talking to this 12-year-old brat who thinks he's conducting an, an intelligent conversation while I have things to do. Excuse me, but my IQ is 130, unlike some of the college students I know. Zach. You need to be respectful to your brother. Biologically speaking, he is not my brother. What's going on with you, Zach? Every week we sit out here and do the same thing. I'm tired of it. This sounds like an adult conversation. May I be excused? Sit down, Keisha, and get out that phone! <laughs> Look, this Bible stuff, you know, it may work for you guys, but I have my own opinions. Oh. Yes, you do. And we've been doing this, Zach, ever since we brought you home to come live with us. Well, I feel, I, I feel as though you're holding me hostage to this. Pop, I'm a grown man and I have a life outside of these walls. And there are certain things I want to do. Oh, that's fine. But I ask for one thing, that you respect the guidelines that we set for this household. And family Bible time on Fridays is one of them. I respect your guidelines, but as an adult, I'm asking you to respect my decisions. And this will be the last week I'm sitting here. Reprime. Reprime. Reprime este espíritu en el nombre de Jesús. Excuse me? He said, I rebuke the spirit in the name of Jesus. Congrats. Your IQ just moved up to 110. You're now average. And I have a phone, so thank you. Look, y'all. The Lord's put something on my heart that I would like to share with mi familia. Today I'll be reading from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15, 16, and 17. Uh, all right, feel free to use your mobile apps. Um, Dad, a little help here? Huh? You gonna behave? Yeah. No way. Lord. Thank you, Jesus! I now have life! Woo! Woo! Guess who has a phone now? And the reading goes like this. Be very careful, then, 
how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise. Making the most of every opportunity. Because these days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Family, I feel as though we're living in a time where Jesus will come back, bring up his church into heaven. We have to be respectful and mindful of how we spend our time. Frankly, I think it's midnight for mankind. I think we are in our closing hours. Who's going to pray for us? I'll pray, Dad. Thank you. Dear God, we love you and thank you for Dad's heart for this family you made me a part of. Please help my big brother, Zach, to see what we see in you. Amen. Amen. And Mom, too. Amen. Amen. Bravo. I'm out of here. Mom, can I talk now? Yes, you may. What about me? Can I keep my phone? Uh, can you stay true to that curfew? Okay, Pops. I see what you're saying, but this 9 o'clock thing um, is... You're pushing it. 9 o'clock it is. Who called you? What did he say? Hey, Pop. Think I could use your, your car keys tonight? And where are you off to in such a hurry? I'm supposed to meet up with, you know, Raymond and T-Dog at DMB tonight. T-Dog? I mean Tony Ellis. Ah, yes, Tony Ellis. You know he concerns me, right? You know I'm not surprised. My friends have always concerned you. Listen, I gotta be at work in the morning very early. So my car in the garage... Midnight. Midnight? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a grown man, not a careless teenager. Huh. So when this grown man has his own car that he bought with the money from his own job, and then he's able to buy his own house, it's midnight for the car I own. Okay. Or, or, take an Uber. Okay, okay, you win. Zach. Don't be foolish. Be respectful of the time you have. What? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh God. oh, God. I know you hear me. I don't ask for much. I just ask for one thing. That you save my wife and my oldest son, Lord. Es mi familia y las quiero mucho. Jesús. Jesús. Señor. Of the doggy door while your parents were praying? Hey, Ray, Ray, I bet you his pops probably still praying. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, at least my old man's still around to pray. Hey, I watch how I talk to you, I know that. Don't step on my ground if you don't want the dirt kicked back in your face. It's whoa, 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 whoa! Yo, let's, let's calm down, guys. We're we gonna have some fun tonight. And Zach, you know I need help with the cash, bro. Man, I don't have enough for you. I'm gonna play so much games, you just ask Tito. Come on, man, you know he broke. Come on. Man, you better make it last. Oh, I will. Ask for some money. Hey, young brothers, how y'all doing today? Yeah, I just stopped by to drop y'all some information. Our church, we have in this place. 
And the first time I saw it, it was a game changer for me. It talked about God's love for us and Jesus' return for his people. Yo, sister, you don't want to hear all that. I'm going to be honest with you. And for your information, my, my mom said Jesus didn't come for a thousand years. So Facts. Facts. I got plenty of time. Look, I hate to bust a bubble on your mother's theology, but she missed the mark by a thousand miles. Sure, get out of my face. Hey, aren't you Zacchaeus, Eric's son? Yeah, that's him. That's yeah. him. Yeah, I gotta go use the man's room. Yo, listen, just come here. You see those people over there? Yeah. Those are a group of sinners. You might want to go talk to them before they miss your magic little bus going up into them clouds. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to leave these with you, just in case you guys have a change of heart. Yeah, okay. And may the Lord bless you. So. Whatever. Oh, is that you know that sister? You know, well, I see her, you know, here and there at the church. Yeah. She cool people. What was she talking about, Mom? I don't really know. Something that they got going on at the church. Let's go play some games, though. You know, I'm about to whip this. Say less, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Zach. You still got your pops car? Cause I'm trying to show you some stuff, bro. It's cool. I got, I got plenty of time, bro. I just got plenty of time. You said that last time, and then last time you had to go get home by midnight. It's almost midnight right now. I'm trying to show you something, bro. It's cool. I got plenty of time. We good, dog. All right, man. But look, I ain't trying to be here all night playing all these little games and stuff. I'm trying to show you how to make paper, bro. It's cool. We can do that. It's all good. right, let's do it. <laughs> Look, dog, it looks like a, a plane crashed into the high school over there. Yo, man, that car crashed through the grocery store window. Why are all those people screaming? I knew it. I knew it. They're coming for us. They're going to take us to outer space. And we are the fortunate ones. Hey, what? Aren't you glad you're with me now? They're gone. They're gone. They just vanished. Just vanished. It really happened. It's all true. Ladies, chill. What's true? Wait a minute. Who vanished? Where did they go? I'm telling you, they're taking the others, unload, and return for us. How lucky are we? And I didn't even have time to pack. This lady was right out front telling us about this and that. And all of a sudden, she said, I can hear as though she was looking for something in the sky. And her body just flashed. Her clothes dropped. And she just vanished. Wait, the, the sister girl that was just here earlier? Oh, but it gets better. That's the one. She vanished. The plane started coming out the air, and the powers went out. And we almost got hit by a bus with no driver. Cars started crashing across the street. There's empty clothing everywhere. People screaming and looking all over for people. Yo, this is crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Crazy? God. You are crazy. This happened. Look around. <laughs> like you about to start preaching to me. You good? God. Yes. Man, what are we going to do? This. Zach. This is the real Bible prophecy. Oh my God. Chill. You're not going to start preaching to me now. I already said this. Chill out. 
No, I'm not. But can you talk to Jesus for us? Come on now, V. Not you, Miss Party Hardy. Now you want to act all holy and want me to pray for you like I can change all of this. Look, what this lady said happened, word for word, lest you have a better explanation. Look, Zach, you, you can go to search for that so what was going on, man? Hey, man, everybody, everybody, look, just chill out. Zach, just tell them they're crazy. Look, I have to call my people. Yeah, on, bro. Oh, my goodness. These things ain't working. They're gone. It finally happened. Hold on, bro, chill. What happened? The rapture, the coming of the Lord. <laughs> and you call me crazy? No one's laughing at me now. First of all, all of y'all are crazy. Look, you all are crazy. This happened. Look. You know, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get some answers that make sense. I need to go home too. Don't go. Please, it's crazy out there. Please stay with us. Yo, what's wrong with me? I'm with you, bro. Let's go. Wait. Is that, is that rare smooth too cool? Yeah, that's him. I wonder if he's part of the selection. See, now, this is crazy. How can God have come for his people and not say Reverend Smooth too cool? Yo, Red, come over here, man. He don't look too smooth now. Hey, Red. Yo, what's going on? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Please, God, don't leave me here. What? Red, what are you talking about, man? And what's going on out there? Accept your fate. We're all in this together. Something. And I think that's rather nice. No, be quiet, be quiet. Something ain't right with this. Oh, that, you too? You missed it too? Yo, missed? Missed? Yo, this is crazy. You haven't seen crazy yet, son. It's just the beginning. Wait a minute. If you're a preacher, what are you still doing here? <laughs> if the God's supposed to have come back for his church. Yeah, what's up with that, Rev? I never gave my life to the Lord. I love the prestige. I wasn't being honest with the church or myself. I was just pretending to be something that I wasn't. Oh, God, please don't leave me here. Look, I need to, I need to find my parents. <laughs> oh, Zach, I, I was going by your home okay. when all this happened. Okay. I stopped. I ran up to your home. The garage door was open. Okay. There were no cars. So I entered your house. And your brother and okay. your sister's clothes were in chairs with the phones on the table. Oh. So I went in further because I wanted to know for myself. Out the back patio window, I saw clothes in the chair. Zach, your folks, your folks are gone. <laughs> oh God, I'm so, so sorry I didn't listen. Please give me the strength to face what we're about to face. Face? Face what? What are you talking about? I'm so sorry. Wait, you mean to tell me it's going to get worse? Oh my God. Worse, son. You haven't seen worse yet. Oh, I need popcorn. This is getting real good. Do they have something to eat in here? I'm getting really hungry. What do you mean worse? Rev, the scripture says in Matthew 24, 21, 22, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. So when did you become Mr. Know-it-all? He's right. It's going to be so great that is going to surpass anything that man has ever seen. Look, man, I, I don't believe none of this is happening. Man, this is real. You're in it like it or not. All these years, I've seen you people staring at me and laughing, treating me like I'm contagious with some horrible disease. I'm not crazy, just different. Just like each of you are different to each other, now, we're all different, together. So, does anyone want to go with me to try and find supper? Look, you know what? I can't take all this. You got this lunatic. She's starting to try to make some sense. 
all that craziness going on outside. I'm going to take my chances. I'm out of here. Where are you going to go? So, Rev, where do we stand? Terrible wars. One fourth, fourth of the Earth's population will die by sword, famine, plague, and by the wild beast of the Earth. Oh, that's so sad for all those people that will be left here on Earth. But I won't be here. Not me. So, no food? The Bible. You mean we're all going to die? Yeah, I mean, like I said, the Bible talks of stars falling from the sky and of great earthquakes. And the sun is going to also turn black and the moon to blood. Oh, you're trying to make me feel sad. But I'm going to be happy. Please pinch me, somebody. This has to be a dream, right? You know, there's been a lot going on, but I'm not afraid to die. It's going to get so bad that the mountains are going to fall. You're going to call for the mountains to fall on you. But you can't die. Let's move. We need to find a hiding place to protect us from the mark of the beast. You mean a triple six? Yes, something like that. You know, my grandmother told me about the triple six, but I ain't taking nobody's triple six mark. Look, you clowns can do whatever you want. I'm going to get some answers that make sense. See dolls that? Roll with me. Man, stay here. This is real. See dog, you rolling, man? Bro, I have no idea what's going on, and I ain't trying to find out. You're on your own, bro. All right, man, whatever. Later, Saints. I'm please stay, here. please stay. Let him go. We all better find a hiding place. I know of some caves in the mountains. I still have the keys to the church van. I have my dad's car keys. <coughs> I'll drive. Hey, look, I'm going to ride with Zach. I'm going to talk to him about something. You ladies go with Rev in the van. Yeah, they won't be needing it. Let's go. Woo, we're going to outer space. from the mark of the beast and don't accept the plan of salvation. Friends, how will you accept the salvation when well, you said that he removed his spirit? Yes, he withdrew his spirit, but the principles still stand the same. The times that we're in now will really test your faith. You know, I believed in God and I always went to church. But I never asked Jesus into my heart. I used to live down the street from Zach and his family, and my business was pretty successful. But I would notice Zach, this nerdy little kid in the neighborhood, he would say to himself, so I would let him wash my car and do my landscaping so he could make some extra cash, even though his family was well off. But his dad would always ask me to go to the church. But I would always find some type of reason why I couldn't. Oh, wow. It was different for me. No one ever bothered to explain it to me the way Reverend Smooth did. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Well, listen. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it reads, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. And I believe in Romans, yeah, Romans 10, chapter nine, um, verse 9 and 10. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. It's as simple as that. 
If someone want to pray with me, I need God just as much as anyone else. I'm sorry. I never did ask, but what is your name? Well, you all know me as the crazy person, but my name is Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. That's a pretty name. I'm Vanessa. And hi, I'm Trina. So, since we're doing all these introductions, I'm Tony Ellis. Oh, really? I'm Anthony. Good to meet you. So we have the same name. Yes, sir. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Dear Lord, I come confessing my sins. Dear Lord, I come confessing my sins. Lord, I know that my sins have separated me from you. Lord, I know that my sins have separated me from you. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe your son Jesus died on the cross. I believe that your son Jesus died on the cross and rose for my sins. And rose for my sins. I'm confessing now that Jesus is Lord. I'm confessing now that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank, Thank you for saving me. me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, man. Oh, I feel free. Aren't you glad that God let us live this long so we can get our lives together, right? I'm finally at peace with God. Hey everybody, look who I found. This was a friend of my sister. Her name is Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Don't be afraid. Come hang out with us girls. Hey, Zach, Zach. Come here, bro. Look, like, no offense, bro. I know you're trying to save everybody, but you can't keep doing this. We ain't got, we only got enough food for one more day. I know you went out to go try to find some. What'd you find? All the food outlets are heavily guarded by soldiers. Looks like they're capturing up people and loaning them up in buses. We can't stay here. We're, go we're gonna have to get out of here. So we only have food for one more day? Look, Zach, we should just stay right here because look, look around. This is the best place for us to hide. I think he's right. They might go right past us. But you know what? We gotta find some food. Like, we gotta find some food. Somebody wanna come with me? I'll go, but I need to go alone. I think I know exactly where to find what we're looking for. They won't even see me coming. Why do you say that? Think about it. All these years, I've been ignored by society. They don't see me. Why would that change now? You better be careful. Don't get caught. It could cost you your life. Well, if it does, it would have been for a worthy cause. You guys have been so sweet and kind to me, like the family and love I've never known. Hey, Jasmine. Yeah? Look, you should take this. Oh, no. But I could use a good Bible. Be safe, Jasmine. Be careful. Be careful. So, where have you been hiding this past week? Pretty much in the basement of an abandoned church. They have some food left over and there's running water to drink. And they can clean up. I've been wearing these clothes for a week, so excuse the smell. It's okay. I would give anything right now for a nice hot shower and a cheap, clean change of clothes. I was reading one of their Bibles and... I decided to become a Christian. Then I heard them trying to set fire to the church, so I had to get out of there. Hey, damn! Uh, freeze! Oh. Hand me your weapon. Get over there. Line up! Yeah, we got you now, you holy rollers. Jesus followers. I need for everyone to remain silent. This is our judgment. Mom! I said I need for everyone to remain silent, including you, boy. And don't you ever call me that again. Well, counselor. Looks like you'll make a fine judge someday. Mom? Your Honor, you know as well as I do 
These Christians will say anything to save their lives. I will deal with him later. So this is not your son. Impossible. I was not able to bear children. I do not know the boy. But you adopted me as an infant. Hey! Hey, man! Get back in line. Say one more thing. So, how is it that a psychopath is caught leaving this cave with a Bible in her hand. Unless a group of Christians gave it to her. But to give you the benefit of the doubt, why would a perfectly normal group of people be hiding in a cave like animals? And you stink. Well, I think that you've been talking up this Jesus stuff, trying to convert as many people as possible, trying to build a resistance to our one world order. That's what I think. Well, one of your little Christian soldiers, or should I say rebel, is lying out there for the animals to feed upon her flesh. <laughs> so, look who got caught in the spider web. Are you one of these rebels, or were they trying to convert you? Go ahead, you have my permission to speak. I'm a Christian, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> well now, that's what you think. I will smite you like the rest of them. I saw you running out of that church. Your newly found friends have you to thank for leading us here. Now I want for you and everybody else to march up out of this cave right now. My soldiers are out there waiting for you. And if any of you, either one of you, even thinks about running, you'll find yourself lying out there with your little friend. Woo! Your Honor, I need to have words with this boy. So be it, but don't leave me waiting. Mom, what, what are you doing? I'm trying to keep you alive. That's what I'm doing. Don't you think it's a little too late for that? Where's dad? Where's my brother and sister? I'm afraid your father was right. Everything happened and they just vanished. I panicked. I left the house driving around for days. And these people took me in and they gave me this position. You gotta help me. You, you gotta help us get out of this. I'm trying to, but you can't keep calling me mom. You'll get us both killed. Now, tomorrow, they're going to take you to a detention center where the judge, who has the power to do whatever she wants, will give you a few options. You have to take what she gives you. 
They're going to ask us to denounce our faith and, and join them. I can't do that. Then I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to save you. I believe God has already saved me. And that's all the saving I need. And if you really wanted to save me, maybe if you, if you would have gave your life to Christ while, while dad was pleading and, and not fighting with him so much, I might have understood. Mom, your rebellion, it made me rebel. Oh no, don't you go blaming me, young man. If you had not been such a stay-at-home slob, you might have made something of yourself. Now I'm going to survive this with or without you. Now get out of my face. Time has come. Can't you see that I'm having my supper? <laughs> Go clean that up. <laughs> because of you, our lives have turned into a living nightmare. Can't even have a decent meal. I tried so hard to be fair to you people. Our honorable one world system provided provisions for you, money for for food and, and other benefits. Yet you make a mockery of it. Call it us, the mark of the beast. We are not animals. You, on the other hand, running around here like little rodents in a cave, talking about this Jesus and spreading lies among the people. If this Jesus came back for his church, uh, why did he leave you here? Why would he even leave this child here? I knew better, but I didn't believe. I didn't accept him. Silence! Did I tell you to speak? You keep your mouth closed while I'm talking. Executioner!
I have been commissioned by this society to rid them of people like yourselves. Our laws require all followers of Jesus to be executed. You have been charged with acting out hatred toward our new world order. I now find you guilty of those same charges. I now sentence you, each of you standing before me, to death. Let the beheadings commence immediately. Die, I'm afraid too, but I must bear the fear. I miss it once, and I can't afford to give in. Pray with me. <clears throat> yeah, your little God won't help you now. No, he can't. I'm your God now. And I don't like lawbreakers or liars. <laughs> Counselor, come stand before me. Yes, Your Honor. Hand me your weapon. Counselor, you served me well. Now I'm going to ask you just one more time, and you best get it right. What is your relationship with that boy? I was wrong yesterday. I don't know her. Hey, hey, get back in line. His parents died in an accident when he was just six, six months old. My husband and I were not able to to have any kids. So we adopted him into our home to give him a life. He, he who you call boy is my son. Standing tall as a man. Son, I'm so sorry, but your father was right. I should have listened to him. Would you, could you please forgive my actions and my words towards you? I'm so sorry. I love you, son. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, please don't, hey. please don't hurt him. Line. Please don't hurt him. <laughs> Look at you. What an utter disappointment you turned out to be. Not only have you failed me, you failed your own family. <laughs> You are unworthy, just like the rest of them. 
you <laughs> will stand here and watch no. as I execute no. your son. No, 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 no. Then you will be demoted <laughs> to being my bond servant until you watch. <laughs> God, I please, please, I beg you, please, please take my life and spare my son, please. Your request is denied. <laughs> Little girl. I'm going to give you a second chance to live. All I need for you to do is to say that you will never mention the name of Jesus. That you will abandon all of his teachings that he taught you and that you will agree to be identified as a new world order citizen. And you will uphold our laws, our laws to the fullest. No, no, and no. I don't care what you do to me, mean lady. You are not my God. I serve the only true and living God and he's sitting in heaven looking at me right now. So you just leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> please, please, please. I'll do it, Your Honor. Please, 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 please. Tina, don't take the mark, Tina. Please, you don't understand. Don't do this. I'm sorry, Zach, but I can't die like this. I just can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't. You can't afford to do this. Get back in the house. Will there be any other level-headed thinking person? <laughs> so be it. Off with their heads. Little girl, you'll go first. I know you're afraid. But once this is all over, you'll be in heaven with Jesus. Get back in line! <laughs> Little girly, it's okay. You want to change your mind? Do what you need to do. My friend Keisha is waiting on me. Wait! Since you're Mr. Know-it-all, you'll go first. <laughs> Your Honor, can't do it. There's something about their faith. Go watch them. Oh, no. I'll handle this myself. No. 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 No.
I am Mr. J. <laughs> All right. Uh, the director for this play. And we are... Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, I love you guys, too. All right. And so I am so glad that you guys and honored that you guys were here celebrating with us this New Year's Eve. This is the best place to be. Um, we have um, a writer of this play, Anthony uh, Westbrook, we used to call him Tony, um, that went away to be with the Lord. Uh, he's no longer with us last year around this time. But the blessing is we have his oldest daughter and his grandchildren, along with the uh, son in love, I guess you would say th these days, that, that came all the way from Sacramento to see this production. Just go ahead and stand, Geneva, with your family, please. What an honor. Thank you for coming. Wow, I hope I have your stamp of approval for messing with your dad's script. <laughs> All right, look, we want to recognize some people. I want to bring out Carly Powell and Yolani Murray. Carly Powell, Yolani Murray, yes. All right, where's Yolani? Okay, look, um, we just want to recognize you two real quick. Um, because Carly Powell is my right-hand person. Uh, when, when, when I'm acting crazy, she steps in, she's directing, right? Sometimes she will upstage me during the rehearsals, but it's okay, we still love her. And then also, Yulani, Yulani was our script supervisor, so just show some love for her. She made sure everybody was uh, doing their thing. Uh, we do wanna, we, we do wanna bring out our uh, tech crew, our stage crew, our stage hands, marvelous job behind the curtains, behind the scenes. And we also want to thank our AV team. We have AV team members in the back. Uh, they are also upstairs. Our makeup and wardrobe team right over here. God bless you guys. And uh, I believe I have something for Yulani and um, Carly, right? Let's see what we have for you guys. All right, let's bring out our cast for Split Second of Revelation 2022. Oh, wait a minute. We, we have something for... Who, do we, who is it for? All right. Carly, we just want to show you a little love. You're not getting an Oscar. That's just a little something-something. All right. And Yulani, we have something for Yulani too? All right, thank you very much. Yulani, what does that say? Okay, all right, there you go. God bless you. All right, now for our cast members, starting with sister girl, Miss Angela Winton. Oh, wait a minute, do I have something for her too? All right, Angela, God bless you, sister. That's your Oscar. All right, she had a double roll, and she came in at the last minute with the double roll. She was actually our prop armory master, and our person that we had cast for the, her part uh, got sick, and she came in, took over, and did a wonderful thing. All right. Playing the part of Keisha, none other than little Jaya Beatty. <laughs> hey, Jay, Jay, Jay. Yeah, 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 y'all give me some love. All right. Uh, playing a part of Rashawn, Anijah Barnett. What's up, Anijah? All right, nobody's giving me any dab. All right, playing a part of Raymond, Mr. Jay Parker. Playing a part of Trina, Denisha Knox. Hi, Denisha. We, we have a little something for you, too. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do what you want to do. I, I don't care. We, we're, we're running the whole church right now, right? Okay, playing a part of our soldier, little John Edgar. There you are, John. All right, I just have to say this. We were begging John for a long time. I guess we had to negotiate the money on his contract. None of them got paid, but. So 
I persuaded him by saying, John, you only have like one line, right? He's like, oh, okay, all right, I'll do it. Uh, so I gave him the script and says, uh, John, I got a slight adjustment. He says, okay, all right, all right, what, what, what are, you, are you adding lines? I'm like, okay, just two or three more. It ended up being like, what, seven or eight, something like that, John? But you did an excellent job, man. All right, all right. Especially you beating, beating down on my uh, grandson there. All right, playing the part of Vanessa, Miss Veronica Griffin Haynes. That's our bougie girl right there. I said, can you play bougie? Hey, so she's just acting. She's not really bougie. Thank you, sister. All right, playing the part of Dad C, Hector Costanetta. You are, sir. All right. He was actually choking us up during his thing, during rehearsal, right? I'm losing focus. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get your places, people. All right, playing the part of Jasmine, the crazy lady, Miss Carla Day. Okay, all right. All right. The cool thing was, this is the only time you can actually say, you know what, you're a psychopath. I can, I can tell her that, right? After this is over, I gotta go back to, all right, all right, Miss Carla, I gotta respect you. All right, okay, playing a part of Reverend Smooth Too Cool, Michael Williams. All right, sir. We appreciate you, Mike. We brought Mike in at the last second. Playing a part of uh, Brooke, Jamie Barnett. All right, during rehearsals, during rehearsals, she's crying real tears. Now, in the original script that Tony produced, it was a little boy in that scene. Um, in honor of Tony, we decided to make it a girl because Geneva and the other sister, you know, the girls and the family, we decided to make it a girl and name her Brooke, just short for his last name, West Brooks. So that's the representative right there, Geneva. All right. Okay, playing the part of T-Dog. Pastor mentioned him all the time in his sermons, Justin Jerry. The dude. All right. Playing a part of Mom Council, who kept us crying even during rehearsals, Miss Erica Barnett. <laughs> ah, Erica and I, we have worked in several productions together, and even the short film we're still trying to, yeah, get done. All right. All right, playing a part of the judge, and she really is a nice person, but not during rehearsals. No other than Vanessa Ratliff. Yeah. 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 Off with your heads. All right. Uh, Vanessa, Vanessa, you can, you, you, you can release character now, ma'am. You can, you can let, 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 let it go, let it go. All right. Okay, and last but not least, playing the part of Zacchaeus, is my number, my, well, not number one, but firstborn grandson who is studying now out here, uh, Mr. T.J. Bragg. There you are, sir. All right. Uh, what is great about this is Justin Jerry was in this production when we did it 22 years ago. And so uh, my son has gone on to glory about 20 years ago. Justin was right next to him playing in the play. So when I said that we was gonna redo it, I had to get Justin back. And then we went to talk to my grandson to play in the play. And so he's actually performing in a play that his uncle that he never met did 22 years ago right here on this stage. And so it's, 
So it's a huge honor for me. So right now, what we would like to do at this time, if you look at the screens, is just pay tribute to those three that have left us and gone to glory. All right, Kiana, go ahead and roll video. You guys show the love one more time for the cast and crew of Split Second, The Revelation 2022. Pastor Kennedy is coming back to the stage for our Q&A session. Thank you very much, troopers. Um, feel free to please uh, leave us a comment regarding the play. I would highly recommend it and appreciate it at splitsecondrama at gmail.com. God bless you. Before we get to the rest of the sermon, we actually have one person who made this all happen. Now, Mr. Bay didn't want to do any more plays. He's not here because here at New York, it's getting more stressful. This is not a this church, not a stage, a theater stage, but we did it anyway. There were there were many trials and tribulations for the past couple months. Actors were getting sick, so they didn't show up to rehearsals. Some people were getting stuck in other states, so they couldn't come to rehearsal. People were getting in car crashes, so they couldn't come, they couldn't come to rehearsal. And my point is, there's, there's even an ethnic band member in the cast. But, so we had it happen. We're all open. A.B. Stump had to get all that figured out. He still made it happen. He still is. To have this great performance tonight. We can give it up for the man behind this whole thing. This is great.